Hello, Zs. Um, today is the beginning of a new project, the Project Azul, spelled with an S because the Z key on my computer is broken. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm doing right here is setting up the menu, the or rather the uh, yeah the, the the menu system rather not not really the menu. This is going to be what controls all of the menus in the game. I'm not actually detailing any of it out right now. I'm just setting up a switch, or a couple of switches, um, which, by the way, are perhaps the most useful little snippet you'll ever use is, is the switch case one, two, three. Anyways, about this project. This project is going to be an ASCII survival game similar to Dwarf Fortress, hopefully, in the end, of course. Um, <clears throat> this series is just going to be me from beginning to end on that project. Um, however, I was talking with a colleague of mine and he says that I should probably aim at doing some more tutorial style videos on my channel. Which that that's you know a distinct possibility that could happen. Um, sorry about the clicking. If there is any, I tried to remove it all, but sometimes there are a few that just get away. All right, so this is me setting up each individual menu option. So basically, what the menu what menus there will be. I guess I shouldn't have said menu option because that's already a thing. As you can see the options menu is very small because I just couldn't think of what what I could possibly want. I don't even know what's going to go in there yet. Uh, quit is incredibly simple. but Options, I see eventually there will be some stuff in, in the game that currently isn't, so the options menu, I, I wanted to leave it kind of open. And the pregame is... <laughs> I, I set it up this way, but we'll see if it actually stays this way. Because this is, I mean, just an idea, as all of these are. Since I actually haven't put any code in, this is all just ideas. Or these are all just ideas. It was expecting the end of the program and it didn't find it. Okay. The constructor, which I really didn't need. Um, putting up a couple of instances of menus. The original idea was to have each menu be its own menu instance, which was an idea that I actually had a long time ago and never really tried out. And it it could work in theory. It's just a lot of coding. I mean, because you have to reference back to every menu every time you change menu. Or so, say there's seven seven menus, and you want to get to one from another, or get back to the main menu from any of them. You would have to reference back to the main menu object, or uh, instance rather. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry that I'm uh, having to clear my voice excessively. Yeah. Excessively? Did I say that? Hope I said excessively, not successfully. Anyways, point being, I just ate, and uh, what I ate kind of tasted like cat food. So I'm hoping it wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It came in a can. Oh wait. <laughs> Anyways, enough about my personal life. Um, since the console window writes from the top, top down, um, the down is up and up is down for how you would typically think. Oh, many of the thing, anything I write, I write in green, anything that's followed by two slashes or backslashes rather, um, those are things that are for 
basically for you or for people who are going to be working on this program after me. At current, I'm the only person working on it, so. And as you can see, my creative name is come up with a name. My creative title. That will eventually be the name where the name of the game goes. Which will only really be significant if the window is open, like small. Title menu. Alright, here we are. Moving up and down between uh, these these cases are basically what each button does on each menu. Which, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, I'm sorry about that. Which at current is basically just move between the menus. Right here I'm adjusting the size of the screen. I wanted it to be this, exactly the uh, same size as the recording area. I fell short, however, so hopefully I can get it, get it right next time. One annoying thing about the uh, console windows is that they have a tendency to pop up randomly unless you have, you know, in, unless it's full screen, in which case they always take up the full screen. Anyways, I've uh, tried to, tried to uh, make it so that they pop up consistently in the same spot just for the ease of recording and whatnot. But it really it doesn't just just doesn't work that way. It just doesn't like it. So, okay, right here I'm putting up the uh, what what you'll see in the menu, the part of the menu that is visible. Haha. -ha. And give it a little color, just you know, just for fun, just for funsies. Sometimes my main my my brain yeah my main. Sometimes my brain just shorts out a little bit, and I, I write half a line of code and go, what the hell was I doing here? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And then I get back to it, which is kind of what happened with the continue, continue up there. Um, these are going to be, anything in the, in the red here is what's going to be an option, or what's going to be displayed as an option. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And some of these probably don't seem as sh so straightforward. Basically, the load your life is load, start new life is um, new game. Cr imagine a new world is uh, the the map generator. Wow, that was like a, a bit of a stutter there, wasn't it? And what was the other one? Tweak it is options, and waste time is the credits which if you don't want to waste time watching me program credits, then I suggest you probably don't watch episode three, I think it is. I don't know, I haven't made it yet, so we'll see when we get there. And this is, yeah, the, the declarations part is actually essentially useless. <laughs> Until I go to finally, you know, compile the, the game in, in totality. What? What's this? Stop beeping at me. All right. So I needed a to-do list because my mind is just a little fuzzy sometimes. So, so in order to keep myself on track, I make myself a nice little to-do list. What the hell do these people want? Anyways, um, so I'm gonna make, basically my goal, the, the, the lower section, the lower two paragraphs are not chronological. The, the top three where it's numbered are the order in which I want to get things done. So first, of course, is going to be the menu loop, just to get it running, so I have something to run off of. And the in-game loop will be nice. Um, <laughs> if I do it right, I won't have to fill in the gaps in between, because I'll be able to do that as I'm going. 
Um, by the way, I have no clue how to network um, on computers, so that's going to be a problem there. All right. Sorry for that. Unprofessional bit. Um, right here, I'm condensing these cases a little bit. I See, the thing is that the, co the compiler doesn't really read spaces. I mean, unless it's in a... Uh, uh, what are those things called? Apostrophes? No. Qu quotation marks. Wow. Just what do they do? They quotate. Durr. Oh, this is a very unstable way to set up a menu, by the way, because your foreground color could change for the other the other setup one set up ones i'm going to turn this thing off if it rings again <laughs> yeah i uh, i had a a, a moment all right so that was episode one. Hopefully you'll stick around for the the rest. Um, I'm going to probably keep them in sessions. Each session will be an episode. Okay. What the? Whatever. Well, I hope you have a good day. Please stick around. This is Cupcake out.